Hello, my name is Holden Mathias. Today on First Person Review, we're going to tell you how to change a nitro engine on your Align helicopter with an OS50 Max engine. Let's get started. Okay, now here's some of the tools you'll need. You'll need A, a motor, B, or two I should say, some Loctite. I prefer blue, but all I have is red, so I want to use moderate amount. You can use red, but like I said, just use moderate amount. Something to wipe off the excess Loctite. A 2.5 millimeter Allen Torx head some sort of tool dipped pliers I'm using little snippers and just some I guess you call them just assortment of uh, Allen keys okay so after all that let's get started We're using a line TRX 600 here um, so the first thing you will need to do is remove the skids so we want to take our 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench and let's get started underneath it so when it let loose it won't smash your frame I'm just using some foam it should be free we'll set that up right to the side out of the way now unless this is for our line helicopters I'm sure you know different model making models are different but all I have is a line as of right now um, we'll go ahead and remove what well, you have. This is you have the two in one, the grounds. So we'll go ahead and take this out as well. Now, this is to the uh, the back plate, so you can see right here. Here's one that's off, and it just goes on the back of the motor. The crankcase plate, I guess you'll call it. And, uh, take that out. So this aside. Well, actually, what I like to do. put it back in when you're done so you know exactly where it's at all right now we'll take these actual motor mounts off these two screws here there's one here there's one here I don't know if you can see that pretty good just going to take them out and along with it there's going to be a uh, Excuse me, there's going to be some uh, washers. One flat side and then one uh, recess side for your uh, thing, as you can see here, just sit them to the side. Now, this, as of now, has a wire. I don't feel like cutting that off. So we'll just kind of set this to the side. Just be careful not to rip any wires off if you have the same kind of setup. Now the motor is somewhat exposed. We're pretty much done on this aspect of the bottom, so we'll flip it up on its side here. There's one here. First, let's take the fuel line off. Let's take this out of the way. Take this out of the way. All right, there's one here and here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this off. We'll just sit this on the side for now, if you can see it. Okay. Careful not to lose the washers. So these over here, they're all the same. Okay, now we want to do the, the fan, turbo fan shroud. So this is a little smaller. These just, or uh, these are what you'll call, I guess, like a wood screw, a plastic screw, the real coarse thread. And it goes into plastic, obviously, which flange around. 
see those over here. There'll be one here. You see that pretty good one there. Okay. And then there's going to be one here. There should be a total of two on each side that holds the fan shroud. Take this loose. Like I said, just set these over here, they're all the same. Now I want to switch the helicopter side. Again, be careful with this little guy. And now the same thing on that side, you got two here. Take that out. Take this out. Then again, these are 2.5 millimeter. Again, all those are the same. Now we'll go over here. Unless there's one right here. Let's set this down right here. And then finally, the last one will be back here. Basically, what we're going to do now is unhook your alligator clip to your glow plug if you have an auto glue or two in one. You're going to pull apart right here. Sometimes you got to be kind of firm. But this whole grommet assembly should just fall out. So let's slide out. There it goes. And as you can see, the helicopter, you have access to the clutch bell, the starter shaft, and uh, everything looks good right there. So we'll just set the whole helicopter as of now to the side. For now, all right. Now you have this thing. Basically, what this is, though, you pull it apart, just like that. Equal so I don't break it. Just pull it equally apart. And be careful not to drop your motor. It should pop loose. And this is actually a brand new 55 motor. Already had it installed, but for video purposes, I took it out. This will be basically like this old motor that blew up. Anyways, and uh, it's always a good idea to have the piston and the full up port so you don't get anything in the actual cylinder itself, as well as the carburetor in a fully closed position. Okay. Okay. So get that pulled <laughs> apart. Like I said, that pulls apart easy. Get that. You're ready to put it back in. And it's literally the reverse with a few minor touches. So now we'll get our helicopter back. Well, actually, first, what we'll do is go ahead and put the fan shroud on. And it literally fits like a puzzle. You have a lineup hole here, a lineup hole here. You just get them started equally. The key is to go down at the same time. Because if you get one started, Gonna bind up, all right, and it should fit sloppy on there because obviously there's nothing holding it down. Go back to the helicopter itself. Lay it, the fun, easiest way I found is to lay it on its side. Get this out of the way. Lay it on its side, okay. Take this, and remember that's got to go up inside the clutch bell. If you can see inside here, it's got to go inside that, it's got to marry really good, all right. So after we do that, we'll go ahead and apply some pressure to the frame and we pull up here, I don't know if you see it flexing but pull and uh, go ahead and get that in there if you can see the clutch going into the clutch bell kind of guide the, the grommet or the shroud, I'm sorry in there, and once it's in there, go ahead and uh, kinda, it's kind of a tight fit kind of get the back get here alright, and then literally just there it is, you hear a clunk, and it's in there. So now we gotta do, or as what I like to do, is go ahead and put one, don't long tight it yet, just put one of these little motor screws inside right here, to hold, just to hold it in place. While we can uh, go ahead and get everything situated. 
Just don't tie it, just get it till it touches. And now it's actually seated in there nicely. So now after that's in there, we can go ahead and place our fan shroud screws. The two millimeter Allen wrench. Should line up in the hole just like we took it out. Okay. Put it in there. Get her a good tight now. Don't strip wrench it out and get it stripped. Just give it a nice when it touched, go a half a turn more. And then you're